So when I started this channel up in 2021, one thing I really wanted to talk about was my thoughts and ideas on Super Nintendo World. The idea of a Nintendo theme park is something that I really love. So I thought I'll discuss kind of my thoughts on how it looks and just overall the idea of it. I love the idea. You know, I've been to Disneyland, Legoland, and a lot of theme parks a good amount of time. And one of the reasons I love it is experiencing those awesome lands, you know, Disneyland with all those famous characters, or Legoland, you know, loving Legos and going to a land full of it. It's just really cool in my eyes. So, Nintendo World and having like an actual theme park where you can experience a Nintendo game such as Mario just is really exciting to me. The way it looks, I think looks beautiful. As a Mario fan, you know, I, I play the games, have seen the movie, unfortunately, read the comic book, actually pretty good, Super Mario Bros. comic, collecting the trading cards, you know, all that stuff, had a Mario themed birthday party, which was actually pretty fun. I, you know, it just took me a moment to really gather my thoughts about Super Nintendo World, seeing this Mario area come to life. Peach's castle, Bowser's castle, the main enemies and coins floating around the area. It looks just amazing. And I think that the creativity is definitely coming into play here. That song Nintendo has always been creative, especially with Mario. The beaches of sunshine, the galaxies of Mario Galaxy, the different kingdoms of Odyssey. You're just in a creative, bright, colorful area, and that's what they have here. I do think the rides look great. There's a Mario Kart 1, which I think is just a fantastic ride idea. You know, everyone loves that game. Families riding in a Mario Kart. It just fits so well. It looks like there also seems to be this Yoshi type of ride, which could be cool. Yoshi's a great character. And I think there's rumors of a Donkey Kong minecart ride, which would also work just <laughs> perfectly. But I do have some issues. For me, Nintendo is just more than Mario. And they do have some IPs or properties that are smaller. Pikmin, Kid Icarus, Ice Climbers, you know, stuff like that are, are not as big. But there's some other ones that are bigger. Like, I think here in the United States, Legend of Zelda, Pokemon have always been super popular. Especially with Pokemon Go. And, you know, that exploding and the current games a couple years ago. Zelda with their Masterpiece games. And then more recently, I think Animal Crossing has joined our conversation with New Horizons. So I think adding lands like that could be really cool. And I know in Japan, Fire Emblem is big there too. So you can almost also have a Fire Emblem land to this Nintendo World. For me, calling it Super Nintendo World and only having Mario just feels a bit off, and it surprises me. Nintendo is known for the crossovers. Yes, you have Super Smash Brothers, but like there's a bunch of spin-off games with crossovers in there too. So I'd like to see that more. Now for my ideas of the land we have now, I would say keep Bowser's Castle in the minecart ride. But I would take out Peach's Castle and replace it with Hyrule Castle, the castle from The Legend of Zelda, to have a Legend of Zelda themed attraction. I'll also maybe take out a bit of the Yoshi ride and have a little Pokemon Stadium area. An area where players can connect to each other on their phones with an app, battle it out, and you could have like little Pokemon animatronics surrounding them. I think that Super Nintendo World needs to really embrace the power of Nintendo. Thank you guys all for watching. Let me know what you think of this new format. And until then, this has been the 10 Man Doing Love. Take care and bye bye.